Good evening, Friendship. This is our first uh, devotional message on our series, How Do You Turn to God? Have you ever had the experience of putting something together? A swing set, a basketball goal, patio furniture, a kid's play set, or, or something else. You open the box and you find hundreds of pieces. After dumping them all out, you go to work trying to fit it all together. Before you know it, you're stumped. The realization hits you that it's harder than you thought. You've managed to put the parts together upside down and backwards. Certain parts won't fit anywhere and there are extra bolts to spare. You know what I'm talking about, right? Whatever that something is that you're putting together, it isn't looking like the picture on the box. Humbly, you turn to those directions. You know, the ones that are bent and crumbled up in the bottom of the box. You identify the right pieces, you obediently follow the instructions, and step by step you put everything back together, and finally, through the process, you have the finished product. And you are humbly reminded, when all else fails, read the directions. When it comes to life, each of us, in our own way, has sought to put our lives together without God. The Bible refers to this effort as sin. Sin is the root source of all humanity's problems because it has separated us from God. Our struggles in life are meant to turn our attention back to God as the source of life and the solution to our core problem. God's desire, His heart, is to restore us to a relationship with Him. Today, we're facing many trials with this virus, this pandemic we're facing, with, with the shutdown, with the social distancing, and all of these things. And many people are, are struggling with isolation, confusion, depression. People are waking up with fear and anxiety every day. Uh, many people are struggling with grief and sorrow because loved ones have passed away or because they're isolated in a hospital. In all of this, many people are looking for answers, seeking hope. People want to know how to turn to God, maybe for the first time. Believers are seeking how to turn back to God when they hadn't in a long time. And so on Wednesday nights, I want to answer the question, how do we turn to God? What are the directions? Simple, step by step, to know and experience Him in our lives. I want to answer questions like, how do you turn to God when you never have before? Or, how do you turn to God when you've been turned off by a religion or the church? How do you turn to God when you feel so far away from Him? How do you turn to God when you're angry with Him? How do you turn to God when you've been abused? Or how do you turn to God when you can't get over your past? Or you're overwhelmed with anxiety or fear? And questions like that. And we'll look each week at, at, a, different, at a different question and how to turn to God step by step when you're dealing with certain things. I don't want churchy language. I don't want religious talk. I don't want a Sunday school answer. I want to go to God's Word and find practical steps. How do you practically turn to God and experience Him? A great story that, that really sets the tone for this devotional series for me comes from Mark chapter 10, verse 46 through 52. And it's the story of a blind man named Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus is sitting alongside the road as Jesus and his disciples are, are coming by. And he begins to cry out to Jesus. And the Bible says, As Jesus and his disciples, together with a large crowd, were leaving the city, a blind man, Bartimaeus, was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, Son of David! Have mercy on me. Many rebuked him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and he said, 
call him. So they called him, cheer up on your feet. He's calling you. And throwing off his cloak, he jumped to his feet and he came to Jesus. Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said, Rabbi, which means teacher, I want to see. I want to see. Isn't that our desire when we have questions about how to turn to God? We want to see the truth. We want to see the reality of God, just like this blind man. And listen to what Jesus said. Go, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. Wow, I I think that sets the stage to answer every question about how do you turn to God from wherever you are. Just like this blind man, we desire to see the truth. The truth of God, the reality of God. No matter where we are today, we are all like Bartimaeus. We sit in our struggles. And because of what we're going through or because of what we have been through or because of what has happened to us, we can't see God and we're begging for answers. Even though Bartimaeus was blind, by faith he knew where to look. And that was to Jesus. By faith he knew where to look for hope. He knew where to look for the answers. And we see hope in his example. When it comes to our questions, when it comes to turning to God, it all starts with humbly calling out to Jesus. In the first step of seeing God's truth and experiencing Him, no matter where we are sitting in our struggles, God gives us a very hopeful promise. Jeremiah 29, 13. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Jesus would say in Matthew 7, 7, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Bartimaeus called out to Jesus, and he continued to do so even when it was inconvenient and uncomfortable. He called out all the more even when the crowd told him to be quiet. He persisted in asking and seeking and knocking with all his heart. That is faith. Faith is the key starting point to turning to God. So let's get out our directions Get out God's Word, look at the steps, and get started. Are you with me? In our next devotional message, we're going to look at how do you turn to God when you never have before. And we'll be posting that uh, here shortly. If you have questions that you would like to have answered, how do you turn to God when? And maybe there's a, a particular question that you have about turning to God. I would love uh, for you to email me at uh, cyarbro70.com or you can text me or give me a call and uh, and I'll I'll be sure to take that question and and we can uh, look at answering that in the upcoming weeks as we look at how do you turn to God. Let's pray together. Thank you, Lord, for being a God who is there for us in real time every day. Lord, I thank you that you give us the promise that we will find you when we seek you with all of our heart. I pray, Lord, that in these times, no matter where we are sitting in our struggles, Lord, that like Bartimaeus, we will call out to you in faith. And we will trust that you will help us to see the truth of who you are. And Lord, you will help us to see how to step by step turn to you, Lord, from wherever we are in life. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us Thank you for dying on the cross for us. Thank you for being a risen Lord and Savior who forgives our sin and gives us life and life eternally. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.